this shit could potentially be freaking explosive. Guys, look, man, we're here. Um, the first presidential debate between Trump and Biden. So before I get into the whole um, pretty much now to really analyze this whole preview that I'm, I'm super excited about, people will say, wait a minute, HH, you're Nigerian. Why is a Nigerian concerned with American politics? And here's my thing, because it's a legitimate question. Empires. Um... We, we had the British Empire, Roman Empire, Greek Empire, Egyptian Empire. This is the uh, this is the time for the American Empire. The, the, the whoever is the leader of America influences the entire world because America is the most powerful country in the whole world. Now it could soon be China, and then that now could be the main thing. But whatever the American president, government, or populace does has a chain reaction on the rest of the world and. The relationship you have with America, countries with America, is highly important based on just how powerful they are. It is what it is. So this, don't even look at this as like an American election. This is the global election. Because as we saw in the UN during the whole Iraq war, UN said, there are no weapons of mass destruction. America was like, okay, cool. So we attack. There are no weapons of mass destruction. I know. So when do we invade? So, <laughs> so that's what we're, what we're dealing with here. UN doesn't exist. Okay, the UN are like Class B. America are the UN. These are the guys that, that that govern everything. So, these elections are important, you know. And if Trump gets another four years, who knows what kind of world we could see within the the, the next four four years? Because it's already been a crazy foil with this dude. Now, if Biden gets those four years and Trump says that I'm not going to relinquish really power and see what happens, that could be another seismic change. So, we come into this... Because, look, I said again, and even anything beyond the look, I'm a movie watcher. I, lo I've, I, I'm, I love movies and everything, whether it's from all the president's men, JFK, Nixon, all these kinds of political movies. American politics is exciting because America is a fascinating country. You know, that's has many great things and many horrible things. But whatever it is, it is extremely interesting. And American people are the most entertaining people on the planet. That's just, that's fine. America, they gave us entertainment. So it is the guys that gave us comic books, that gave us Hollywood movies and all this kind of stuff. So, we now, we're now here. Well, we're here, we're here, we're here for um, this um, election. So my thing here is this is that from the onset, from the onset, Biden could get lubricated. That is how... Let's just start there. Biden can hardly string sentences to together, even when he's just making speeches. You're like, what? Because opposed to Hillary, Hillary was cool, relaxed, everything like that, you know. So, But with Biden, if you are struggling to make speeches where the crowd are on your side, you're not under any pressure, it's just so you're speaking and you are, you are, there's a teleprompter and these things are have already been rehearsed. If you're having issues with that, what are you going to do when you now have a guy now firing questions back at you, attacking you and, and coming for you? So my fear is, and I don't think this will happen because I just think it would be too obvious, but my fear is that this could be really bad. Trump could just dance around and make Biden look completely and totally incompetent or incomprehensible but my thing is that surely biden's team knows this surely they know his strengths and they know his weaknesses so which is why we now talk about which is what the whole point of this pretty much analysis is the preview so what if so let's just say i'm working for for biden and i say okay what is the game plan how do you approach this presidential debate knowing that this guy will go low this guy will come up with some crazy stuff and this guy will try to expose it. Because we've already seen from the from the tweets, Trump has already done his homework on Biden. He's already done his background work and he's coming for the jugular. He's coming to say what's up. So I think Biden is prepared for some much thinking. So if you're if you're Biden or if I'm advising Biden, my thing is this look. You have to go with facts. And try to, because it's a tough one, man, because, you see, 
you're not going to convince Trump supporters otherwise. That's not happening. Because I tell you, the divide between left and right is huge. What you're doing are trying to convince the undecided, maintain your base, but also bring in those guys who think, okay, Trump, this guy may be a little bit wild. So I think a big thing is this whole COVID thing. And how he's handled COVID. So that is going to be a major thing. So I think for Biden is you can't, you don't have the same kind of characteristics and flair that Trump is going to lean on. So Biden, which is what Hillary did as well, you've just got to just rely on facts, 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 and just keep attacking him on facts with regards to your COVID response, how um, slow you were to the COVID res, 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 response, even through in the whole tax return thing as well. Just hidden with these things, hidden with these things, hidden with these sound bites, hidden with these handles, hidden with these sound and then see how he can to those sound bites. So if he de- if he can do that, then I think we could be seeing something interesting. Um, because going on the attack, not good. And I don't think that Biden has the characteristic or the wherewithal to really attack and retry and go for Trump. I just think uh, Boyd, Biden just has to basically maintain his composure, maintain his mind frame and be like, okay, boom, here I am. Boom, 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 boom. As for Trump, here's the thing. The temptation, the temptation for Trump is let's just rip this guy to shreds. This guy can't talk. He can't speak. You know, he's a horrible speaker and everything. Just go at him, attack, attack, hit him, attack, hit him, attack. But I think what Trump's campaign would do, or, or if I was advising Trump, as I say, I'm just here. I'm not I'm not a supporter of any of the dudes. I'm just, I'm looking at this just as like a, a, a bout. I think for Trump, the wise thing is, let's just feel him, let, let's just feel things out. And let's see where things are going. Don't come out of the blocks yet. Let's just see where he's at. And whatever attacks comes from him, let me hit him and then re- respond him. But then there has to be a stage where you turn those tables and you go at him. And you hit him. And you go at him. You hit him. You go at him and you and you hit him. Um, because I, because Trump knows that, you see, Hillary... You can say anything you want about Hillary and all kinds of stuff. Very smart, extremely well prepared, and she was extremely poised. But she knew how to string sentences together, which I don't think Biden knows how to do. So that was a formidable point because Hillary was just trying to just hit him Trump with facts, 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 your facts. What you're saying doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make any sense? And as well as I say, Trump, what the heck is this guy saying? But just that he was just so exciting by what we're saying. But really, Hillary was just talking a lot more sense. But with this, though, is you're having a guy who just doesn't have the kind of comprehensible speech pattern that Hillary had. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit tricky there. So for, so, I am just interested to see... So many things interest me. I'm interested to see how Biden looks because I cannot... I refuse to believe that Biden is just going to come out there how we sort of expect him to and just get flawed. That's my fear. My fear is Trump will... It, it could be a case of where even guys who are voting for Biden like, Because uh, remember, Biden, bro, you've got to uh, you've got to also convince those Bernie supporters, those hardcore Bernie supporters. Because if you, if you lose those, if those Bernie supporters just don't end up voting because they were so pissed and they don't believe in Biden, you're, you're screwed. So you have to get those Biden dudes. So sorry, you have to get those Benny dudes. So if those Benny dudes are like, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Um, also, side note, shout out to, I just spoke to my mom, the Edo State's elections, which apparently were one of the first few elections that didn't have any kind of rigging or or or, 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 or anything. So... That was actually a big deal because a lot of Nigerian elections are rigged. That was one of the first few elections in Edo City where it was actually fully civilized. So shout out to that, man. Shout out to hopefully that can be something new for Nigeria moving forward. Um, So how this... And for Trump... 
Because I think in those debates that he had with Hillary, there were ones where Trump was just like, okay, I'm going for the whole poison and everything like that. And there were other ones where he was like, okay, I'm going for, for the attack. But here's the thing. I think this is the thing. Trump, as much as he was a opponent to Hillary, respected Hillary. And Trump knew that, okay, this is someone who is very well prepared, a very well prepared candidate. Trump, ha- I don't think he has any respect for Biden, which is why Trump is waiting for this. Trump was ready to do this thing with Joe Rogan and for, for Joe Rogan to meet it because I think, and yeah, yeah now we're not getting to the kick right there. I think Trump is very eager. And his eagerness could be his downfall. Because I think Trump is like, this is an easy slam dunk. This dude can't speak. I will tear this dude to shreds. And especially if I attack him on certain points. And, and he now has to respond under pressure, which he hasn't done. He, I'm going to make this guy look like, like a clown. But my thing that that could be walking into a trap. Because the Biden dudes could be like, okay, anything he brings in, we're going to respond. And we're going to now respond with these kinds of slick facts, and let's now see what he does, and let's see, let's see him backtrack. Try, and, and they say, try and make him look like a fool and expose his policies, because that's what you can always do with a sitting president. Because the guy from the president is like, well, you can't judge me yet, but we can judge it because we've seen four years of materials. We've got four year, a four-year sample size for us to pick holes. You know, you can't pick holes at my presidency because I've not been president. Even if you pick hole as me as my vice president, I was vice president who has to sort of acquiesce to my superior, which is the president. So Biden can just, I'm going to pick apart at what you've now done as president and really expose the kinds of things that you've done and just say, look, even guys for your voting for him, look at what he's done. But for Trump, it's like, do you want this dude to be here? And Trump is like, all right, I'm going to bring you facts. <coughs> of job rates, employment rates, and so forth. So I'm going to just be, be, be pulling from everywhere. So this could be explosive. This could be explosive. Or it could just be like, chill down, relax. Whatever the case may be. But see, it's weird because this is politics. It's real life. Lives are at stake. But guys, I'll admit with you. I'm excited. <laughs> because this could be like really entertaining so i am actually like really like oh my gosh like wow so i'm pumped i am pumped just to see how busy i am pumped to see how this is going to unfold i'm pumped to see how this is going to un- unfold but guys i mean in the comments below tell me i mean i because I've, I've i've seen some of biden's speeches and Guys have actually even made fun and done memes about how he forgets stuff that he says. So he says, and then he doesn't forget what he's saying. So you can't do that in this debate because my thing is, put it this way. There are guys who hate Trump so much, they don't even need to view this as a debate. They're voting for Biden regardless. And a lot of people are like, who cares for the Biden stands for? I don't even need to watch the debates. I am voting for Biden because I don't want another four years of Trump. So my it's not because I believe in Biden, it's because I don't believe in Trump. So there are a lot of guys who feel like that. But there are people that are like, okay, no, 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 no. I'm here to, I'm here to vote. I may not believe in these two candidates, but that is why this presidential debate is so important because okay, let's now see them. On stage, and let's now see them against one another, and let us see these guys du- duke it out. Um, so my prediction, tough. It's tough, but I feel I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this. I think Biden will surprise people. I think Biden will surprise people. Obviously, there'll be a few weird moments from Biden, a few moments where Trump really is really hitting him, but I think Biden will surprise people because I refuse to believe. This is just gonna it's just gonna come out and look like like trash. It's just, you know, I'm like, really? So I'll be surprised if that happens, man. So <sighs> Biden will surprise people. I don't know whether he will come out along winning the I think it will be a stalemate. I think it will be a stalemate in the sense of 
you will see Trump make look Biden really uncomfortable. But guys will be like, oh, wow, Biden did actually a lot better than I thought he would. He didn't win it. He didn't come out across globally because we all know that Trump is a lot more charismatic. But he didn't get flawed. Because if he gets flawed and he gets baptized, then, then I mean... Then, then that's 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 where things will get tricky. But guys, whatever the case may be, straight after the the debates, there is going to be a live post match analysis, man. There's going to be a live post match analysis, and we're going to break this whole thing down, top to bottom, left to right, and we're going to just fully analyze because I cannot wait for this whole thing to pop right off. So be back here on the on the half up sort for the post match analysis. Peace out.